I've had a number of concussions over my career and this one's been a bit different to the others. Uh, it's been 10 weeks and I've still got a few of the symptoms that are consistent with post-concussion syndrome. Um, so to play again, I'd have to regain full health and fitness um, and then be prepared that if I suffered another concussion, it'd be uh, as long or longer on the sidelines and um, I'm not prepared to go through that. Um, concussion is a brain injury, injury, it's pretty serious. Um, and it affects my whole quality of life and has uh, ramifications away from football. Uh, the club's been very supportive and patient through this whole process. Uh, the doctors there, Andrew Potter, uh, Steve Kennett, Mark Susanna, have shown great care and made sure I had all the information I needed to make this decision. Um, I'd like to thank the Sydney Swans Football Club initially for giving me the opportunity to play AFL and the Adelaide Football Club for showing patience and faith um, to allow me the career I've had. Um, Adelaide's a great club, great club to be part of um, and I'm proud to have played my footy here. It's a club that expects you to be good and demands improvement. Um, the Adelaide club has built a culture uh, which produces good footballers and also produces responsible and accountable young men who are really well equipped uh, for life away from the game. To the supporters and fans, I thank you, appreciate all the support. Um, please keep showing your passion for this team, it drives us to succeed. I've enjoyed playing or at times trying to play um, at the highest level for nearly 12 years and been fortunate to play with some of the game's greats. Um, I've had a lot, of, a lot of fun along the way and I uh, was able to develop from a pretty average player into what my dad always described as handy. Uh, I thank my teammates, past and present, um, for their support over the past few months and for Great times over the years. Um, in particular, uh, James Gallagher, Nathan Bassett and Ben Rutten for their honesty and assistance in, in my career. Uh, to all my coaches, thank you, but in particular to Craigie, um, who believed in me even when I didn't. Uh, in 2005, I didn't play a senior game. Um, I was out of contract and I had two operations at the end of the year. Um, I'd lost faith in my ability to play AFL footy and couldn't really see a way forward. Uh, Craigie could for me, um, his honesty and direction um, along with some hard work allowed me to have a, a career which today I'm proud of. Uh, to my friend Doug Atkinson, I doubt you'll even hear this but thank you. Uh, to my sisters Emma and Mia and my mum and dad who uh, supported me through everything I've been, uh, I went through um, and put everything into perspective, I thank them. My daughter Hayley will never know how important she was in these last few months, um, uh, but it's pretty tough to be, uh, be sad or unhappy when she's around, she's great. And uh, to my wife Anna, um, thanks champ. Can you just give us, I suppose, the club supporters some insight into what has actually gone on in regards to your body? Yeah, so the symptoms include uh, uh, headaches, nausea, vomiting, um, I've had a lot of vision problems, and so those are the symptoms that I've had. Uh, they don't go away, it's not uh, like I get them when I'm just at the club or just exercising, they're 24-7. Um, the last three weeks have improved quite a lot uh, to the stage where I've been doing some exercise again and having long periods where uh, I'm feeling good, so um, I'm working back towards getting healthy. Um, but yeah, it was tough. Will you fully recover? Yeah. Yep. So the information I haven't seen a, a number of people about that is that uh, that I will. I haven't lost any you know, brain function or um, anything like that, and that I will fully recover. Yeah. What about you just your everyday life? Is there examples you can give us where you have been able to do what you want to do in regards to quality of life? Oh well, there was for a period of time there where I was basically I was just at home. Um, I couldn't read, uh, I struggled to watch TV and yeah, it wasn't great. So from now on, it's just the risk of head knocks that poses a problem? Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously the way that I react to them is uh, not favourably. So um, yeah, I'm not prepared to, to go through this again. It's, like I said, it has a big impact on your whole life. Um, 
to play again, I'd have to be prepared to put myself in a position where there's a chance it would happen, and I'm not prepared to do that. So that's what's important. Bigger picture about how players once they once they get a hit on the field, how should they be treated? What should we be doing to ensure that they're being protected? Oh, I can't speak for other players. That I mean, the neurologists I've seen, uh, every concussion is different, and how one player reacts to it is different to how other players react to it. So. Uh, I think all doctors in the AFL care for their players um, and coaches do as well. In my experience that's, that's been the case and sometimes players are right to go back on or play the next week. Um, unfortunately for me, I wasn't. Oh, I think it's a great game, AFL footy. It's a great game and it always has been. It'll be, hard to change it. Um, yeah, I think the, the way it's played is, is fantastic. I mean, it's getting quicker and there are more collisions, no doubt, but uh, as long as the care is still there from, from the doctors and the clubs, um, there's no reason for that. Uh, well, I, I don't think the rules have had any impact on, on that. Often we think of that incident in the West Really bad. I mean, is there any one incident that might have sparked it, or is it just you've had more than most, or is it just basically your genetics? Yeah, um, not, there's been no one incident that's, that's caused this. Uh, I've had um, quite a few over, over the time, and, and a little bit genetics as well. And how much uh, influence did your wife have on this decision? Did she encourage you to step aside? Uh, my wife was very concerned for my uh, health and, and well-being in the future, but um, she's a sensible lady, she's from medical background, um, and, and of course she was concerned for me, and she saw the daily effects that this was having on, on my life, which flowed over to her as well, but uh, at the end of the day, if I had all the medical information that I was going to be fine and fine in the future, she was happy for me to play on. When did you make your mind up to the footy club so few times that you weren't thinking of the decision that there was plenty of things to go ahead of you? When did you actually go, that's it? Yeah, only recently. Um, uh, I guess I was yeah, keen to get back for, for a long time. The length that this has gone on for uh, is probably the, the, one of the contributing factors or the major contributing factor. Um, I saw a, a specialist in Melbourne um, a couple of weeks ago and and after seeing him, it made my mind up. I just had a head clash. Yeah, I had a couple of head clashes at training and uh, fairly minor incidences, which again, I guess, contributed to me making my decision. No, well, the information on concussion is that once you recover, fully recover, get back to playing, um, you're right. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I did, yeah. Oh, I just went backwards for a couple of days. Um, ah, so the symptoms the symptoms came back and probably um, increased from where from what I was feeling at the time I started training. Scott, have you lost a, a lot of weight or any condition? It's pretty skinny to start with. Um, <laughs> but you look skinny, that's why that's uh, Ah, no, I've lost, I've lost a couple of kilos and yeah, I definitely would have lost some condition? Uh, well, there's a lot of good memories of Scott. He, um, I remember the incident the situation that he spoke about um, where he was looking at being delisted. We spoke about being delisted, having come from the Sydney Swans. Um, but to his absolute credit, Tom, uh, Scott Stevens took charge, took responsibility for his performance and he spoke to the playing group about that this morning. And I think it was a really pertinent point. And it's easy in this game for, for players, coaches to, to apportion blame all over the place. But in the end, um, it's, it's really about taking responsibility for your performance. Scott did that and went from a player that was looking at having been traded from Sydney to us, to looking at uh, being delisted, to uh, ending up uh, being an outstanding player for us. Um, particularly in defence, people forget that he kicked six goals in a final against Collingwood up forward. He, he stood some of the, you know, the best forwards in the competition. 
and um, you know has been a really important uh, member of our senior leadership group. So he's gone from a player who looked like being delisted to a highly valued, respected player in our footy club, Tom. So Scott, even though we're disappointed that he's retiring, um, he can walk away, uh, I reckon, a bit more on a handy player, you know, full due respect to his dad. But um, he can sit down uh, wherever he ends up and uh, be pretty proud of what he's been able to do in his footy career. And uh, I'm really looking forward to Scott sort of continuing to be involved until the end of the year with our playing group and coaching group. And I think our club's been really responsible in this situation with Scott. Um, very easy for myself as a coach to put pressure on Scott, you know, come on, we need you obviously playing in defence, you know, uh, particularly with the way the year's going at the moment. It would be very easy to do that. I've tried to my absolute best not to do it even though there's times uh, when you all the love Scott Stevens to be playing in, uh, in our defence for us. I think our medical people have been uh, really open, given Scott every opportunity to get any information that is required. Um, so uh, they're the most important people in your footy club, the playing group. So we have an absolute responsibility to, in terms of their welfare, safety, to, uh, to keep it in the highest regard. And I think our club's been uh, really responsible with that. I'm from WA, my wife's from WA, and so there's a possibility that we'll, we'll head back there. Um, I enjoy being involved in football clubs, um, and I enjoy helping people, so uh, that's one option. Um, I've also done some work away from football. I've got a human resource management degree and done some work with some people here in Adelaide, um, so exploring that as well. There's one message you leave on to this Oh, I, I spoke to them this morning about that. Don't wait for someone to make you a good AFL player. Find out what you've got to do and go and do it yourself.